Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Millennium Microphone Bio's Card Questionnaire, where we test Bio's ability to uh, answer arbitrary Yu-Gi-Oh questions based on prompts that you guys give us and cards that you guys give us. How you feeling, Bio? Uh, last one was a bit rough, but not bad at all. Wasn't? I don't remember. I've, I've locked it up. <laughs> last, last one was the uh, gimmick win conditions, oh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, wait, this one is the uh, uh, magician, right? Well, yeah. So at the end of last one, you did give the people a prompt uh, for I card did. submissions. So this episode is based on that theme. Uh, in case you're new here or in case you just want to refresh on how the game works, let me break it down for you really quick. Uh, I, Shibuya Gato, will be showing Bio uh, various Yu-Gi-Oh cards, uh, pieces of card art, uh, flavor text. I will then ask Bio to guess various things about that card based on, like, whatever the theme is or how evil I want to be on that given day. Uh, once I reveal the answer, we all get to laugh and see how insane certain Yu-Gi-Oh cards can be. Or just, you know, how goofy they are. There's gonna be three rounds, easy, medium, and hard. And the points really don't matter for anything except, you know, in case you want to compare your score to Bio's at the end of the episode. Because we do have some bonus points scattered in, but it's always fun. No one's ever beaten me yet, so... <laughs> see if you can do it, viewer. <laughs> Will this be the episode? We'll find out. This is episode 5 of this fucking series. I can't believe it. Wow. We've done a lot of these. Uh, and if you remember, Bio, Bio did say a theme at the end of last episode when we had the runic question. It's spellcaster time! That's right, it's spellcaster. Look at those little guys! Love it. If you want to submit a card, we let our followers on Twitter submit. Every time a theme is out, I put out a tweet, at Millennium Mike, and you guys can throw card art my way. You guys can submit multiple cards at a time. If you submit questions, even better. If you have preloaded questions, it's more likely that I'll just throw that in because sometimes coming up with questions is hard <laughs> and I have to enlist some help because it, it's just a lot to sift through. But uh, we do appreciate you guys submitting. Uh, you're always credited on the slide for the question that your card is based on. And uh, please include photos of the card and or artwork if you can, because that definitely helps. I know sometimes there isn't super high quality art for a card, but uh, just the best that you got. And I, I can go from there. So as usual, we're going to start with the easy questions. So are you ready, Bio? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. All right. He <laughs> says he's ready. Let's see. Question number one. Hey, I know that guy. Dark Magician is probably the most iconic spellcaster in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And even in the anime, we've seen that a single card can have multiple variant artworks, as seen with Arcana and his evil fucked up Dark Magician. How many alternate artworks has Dark Magician had over the years? And this is only alt art that has been released in the official card game in Japan or in America. So none of the, like... Bandai card game or video game alt art. It has to have been released physically in the card game. So this is, this is not an easy question. <laughs> no, it's I mean, it's um, It's not the worst. Uh, is it a eight? Oh, okay. I get numbers. Oh my B, god. I was gonna say four. <laughs> no Is it a eight b nine c ten or d eleven? This question was submitted by Shora by the way. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, I'm gonna go with B9. I don't know. Is there any specific logic behind that or no? Nope. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say four, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, he's arguably one of the most iconic monsters in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, so four seems like a little bit of a low number for 25 years. Hmm. And unfortunately, you were one off. <laughs> it is 10. Uh, Dark Magician, you can see all of the variant hey, artworks like right one. here, and... The last one came out last year. It is a collaboration, I believe, with a Konami sports game where they got the uh, artist for that game to do this funny little dark magician on the top. Okay. See, I thought we were going from like, you know, start of the game to 2022 because 2023 hasn't finished yet. So that was... Well, 2022 is when the last alt art came out. <laughs> Fuck! Damn it. Okay, never mind. So... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Still, uh, it's interesting to see all the like different art mm. styles that come in with Dark Magician in particular, because that middle one... The bottom one, left corner, he is, like, so buff. That's the Dark Side of Dimensions <laughs> artwork for Dark Magician, so... It, it's one of the coolest, I think, but the color palette just throws me off. At the same time, I guess it's based on the Kazuki Takahashi one in the center, so... Mm. Question number two, submitted by uh, Kink Governable. And this one, pretty simple. True or false? 
All Gravekeeper's monsters are spellcasters. Uh, this would include monsters like, as pictured, Gravekeeper's Spy, Gravekeeper's Assailant, Gravekeeper's Guard, and Gravekeeper's Supernaturalist. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, so you saw the Gravekeepers in one of the GX episodes we watched for season one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um... Do you think they're all spellcasters, yes or no? That's all the question is. Sure, true. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, you'd be Yay! right. Every <laughs> single one of these people is a spellcaster, which Let's seemed go. weird for a spy and a guard, but, Great. you know, who am I to judge? <laughs> uh, Gravekeepers, weirdly enough, have gotten support pretty recently. Like, I think Supernaturalist came out within the past four years. So every... So any, like, spell card that in impacts spellcasters... Spellcasters is gonna impact these guys. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see their their name, spellcaster. Okay, on yeah. the bottom. Cool. Yeah, interesting. I didn't even know that. Fuck uh, you. Sorry. <laughs> submitted uh, by one of our god cards, Bill and Dark Hunter X ninety. All right, Bio. It's time for your obligatory time wizard question, <laughs> but with a twist. In Duelist Kingdom, Time Wizard and Dark Magician can combine to create a powerful card called Dark Sage. Your question is simple. Which of these card arts belongs to the real Dark Sage? And bonus points if you can give me the names of any of the fakes. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you know what? Oh, I think it's the bottom left one. The older guy, look, the old looking guy. Okay, you think, think bottom left him. is Dark Sage? Yeah. Uh, do you think you can give me any of the other card art names? If I can name them? Like, it, if you can just try to look at them and be like what would you be called um shoot i feel like i actually have that one on the bottom right um, in my deck but i don't i don't know um dark spellcaster i don't know okay so so that's <laughs> all right um <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fine that's fine uh luckily you were correct. This is Dark Sage. I thought He's so. He's impossible to summon uh, consistently. He cannot be special summoned any other way than by using Time Wizard, and his effect is just add one spell from your deck to your hand. So he's not great. Mm -hmm. But for the bonus monsters. So uh, the other three are called Dark Eradicator Warlock, Old Vindictive Magician, which if you've been watching Deck March, he kind of keeps cropping up in our decks at the moment because uh, he's got a decent effect, and Sorcerer of Dark Magic who, mm. if he looks familiar, it's because he's actually featured very prominently in the Pyramid of Light movie that we watched. Oh, okay. So I don't have him on my deck. You do not. Okay. He is <laughs> a, an older card from, like, 2005 -ish. I knew he looked familiar, though. Yeah. No, he's a very cool design. And as far as, like, Dark Magician offshoots, I think he's probably one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I, I wish he got, like, any kind of modern support. <laughs> All right. We're up to medium now. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, these were submitted by Rillerai oh, and uh, cool. Dolborzi. So in his final duel against the Pharaoh, y Yugi uses a set of cards known as the Silent Magicians. Much like Chaz's armed dragons, the Silent Magicians have cards of varying levels baked in. Which of these level sets belong to the real Silent Magician cards in the TCG? Is it level 3, 5, and 10? Level 1, 4, and 7? level three and level seven or level four and level eight and just to, to clarify for this i do mean like it's in the actual card name not like what star levels are they oh okay hmm. um i'm gonna go with uh, i am gonna go with i'm gonna go with a level three level five level ten okay an understandable guess. Unfortunately, <laughs> it is level 4 and level 8 because the final Silent oh. Magician card actually does not have a level in its name. Uh, Yugi okay. uses okay. multiple different ones in the anime mm -hmm. that are like, I think, level 0, level 2 or whatever, but those have mm -hmm. not been printed. So, mm -hmm. as far as the real TCG, it's level 4, level 8, and then just Silent Magician. Damn it. <laughs> nah, that's fine, I get it. Uh, this was submitted by Draco Knight 0 I appreciate it, because this is Sandwich! Sandwich is an old fusion monster from the early days of Yu-Gi-Oh! 
and is fused using Sangan and which other card? See what I did there? <laughs> is it A, Witch of the Black Forest? B, Dunamis Dark Witch? C, Dark Witch? Or D, Witch's Apprentice? And you get to see all of their card arts right here. Oh, cool. Um... Oh, I, I, um, the, is the guy on the side of the screen, the right side, is that Sandwich or is that Sandgate? That is the art for Sandwich, yes. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. I, I feel like, shoot. Okay, so he, it looks like a spellcaster, right? So I yes. feel like it's not going to be Dark Witch because that's only fairy, and Dunamis is only fairy as well. Okay. So I feel like it's Witch of the Black Forest or Witch's Apprentice. Interesting. I want. I feel like. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm gonna go A, Witch of the Black Forest, because the, the eye and the head makes me feel like that's. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, you'd be absolutely hey, correct. let's go. So that is the card art for Sangan on the left. Uh, you combine it with Witch of the Black Forest, and you get Sandwich. Nice. Part of the reason Sandwich is such a funny card is because both Witch of the Black Forest and Sangan were popular in decks in early Yu-Gi-Oh! Because they both have the ability to search out other cards and sort of thin out your deck. Mm -hmm. uh, meaning that uh, Fusing Sandwich actually puts both of them in the grave, which ends up being sort of beneficial to you. So oh. he's just a funny little guy with uh, pretty good base cards. Congratulations on that. Uh, Easy. Question six, submitted by Delta Tonberry. Now, this looks like a cool archetype too. Blue Eyes White Dragon is an incredibly popular monster that's received plenty of support mm -hmm. over the years. But, I hear you ask, Blue Eyes is a dragon. Why are you talking about it here? Blue Eyes has a set of support cards in the Ooh. With Eyes of Blue archetype. That's cool. Now, which of these with eyes of blue cards is actually a spellcaster? Is it A, maiden with eyes of blue? B, priestess with eyes of blue? C, protector with eyes of blue? D, sage with eyes of blue? E, all of the above? Or F, none of the above? Okay. Which of these is actually a spellcaster? Maiden, priestess, protector, sage. All of the above. I mean, I, I would say all of the above, right? It would probably just be those orange cards that have like the spellcaster archetype, right? I, That's I would what say you're e, all of the above. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. You are, in fact, correct. Yeah! Every <laughs> single go. with Eyes of Blue cards is actually a spellcaster. Which makes you think how Kaiba <laughs> must feel about that ship. That his blue eyes support has been tainted with spellcasters. Uh -huh. <laughs> even if the maiden kind of looks like his, you know, ancient Egyptian wife. Hmm. Question number seven, submitted by Adraco Arts. This one's a little bit tricky, so bear with me. The fairy tale archetype takes classic fairy tales and stories and kind of puts a twist on them. Based only on these card arts, can you tell me what stories they're all based on? So, we've got this, this one right here. Okay. We got this one. And we've got this one. I will give you a point for each one that you get correct. On this one. Well, the first one feels like um, Cinderella, right? With the gloss slipper. Okay. And then the second one reminds me of Red Riding Hood. And the third is Sleeping Beauty. Okay. For Sleeping Beauty and Red Riding Hood, I'm curious with your logic. Um, <laughs> the second one's just red. <laughs> the third <laughs> one, she's sleeping. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. The third one might be Rapunzel. Because the hair is kind of long. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need uh, one set answer from you on this. Fuck. Sleeping Beauty. I'm gonna go Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Now you've gotten two out of three of these correct. Because if you look uh, at the second one, she is holding an apple with poison on it. That is Snow White. What? Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Oh, I see it. I yeah. thought that was a strawberry. I was oh. very scared you were gonna swerve and commit to uh to Rapunzel with Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Okay, two points, two points. I'll yeah, take it. Yeah, still not bad. Uh, they're, for reference, called Fairy Tale Rella, Fairy Tale Snow, and Fairy Tale Sleeper. And I, I kind of see where you're coming from with the strawberry thing, because if you look at her like 
poofy Bri- little I sleeve. just like briefly, yeah. I the just briefly seeds glanced kind of that. evoke that, yeah. All right, well done. Now we're on to hard. How you feeling on this one? Because you, you've good. got. I feel some like easy ones. was the hardest, the hardest one for me so far. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got dark sage pretty quick. Mm. Question number eight, submitted by Agumon Nine Thousand. Only one of these monsters is actually a spellcaster. Which is it? Is it A. Trigate Wizard. B. Sorcerer what? of the Doomed. C. Windar, Sage of Gusto. Or D. Fairy Ant, the Circular Sorcerer. Uh, oh, I don't. Oh, I want to go A or D. I want to go A or D because A looks like a, a like a spellcaster. Okay. But also, it gives me pendulum vibes. But I don't know if you can like you can probably be a spellcaster and still have pendulum effects. Uh, there, there are archetypes of pendulum monsters that are still spellcasters. I will say that. Like, no matter your gimmick, you can still technically be a spellcaster in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, D just looks like a spellcaster card. Ah. Uh, What's turning off D. of B and C? I'm curious. B looks more like a um like an undead or like a zombie card. Okay. Um, and C looks like just like a warrior card. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go D. I feel like Trigate Wizard is like is a is a swerve like a throw off. I'm gonna go D. Okay. Unfortunately, Sorcerer what? of the Doomed is the what? only spellcaster, and it is in fact the oldest card on this list by quite a few years. Uh, Trigate Wizard is a Cyburst monster because it's one of those funny Link cards, so it belongs mm. to that like archetype. Uh, Windar is a Psychic monster, so not quite a warrior, but I, I get the logic behind that. And then Fairy Ant, Ant, she's an insect. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little quirky, but I I understand where your brain was going with that. Mm. On to question nine. This one was submitted by Dual Tainer thirteen, and uh, speaking of pendulums, all of these spellcaster cards belong to a single archetype. What is the name of that archetype? They are pendulum monsters. I will tell you that much. So are they? A. Circus sorcerers. B. Performa Pals. C. Cirque de Sorcery. D. Enchantertainer. Or E. Oh, Illusionista. Sure. Enchantertainer. Wait. Mm, maybe C. Cirque de Sorcery sounds like a, a Yu Gi Oh archetype. I'm gonna go C. I'm gonna go C. Alright, you're hard committing C? Yep. I'm sorry, buddy. Those are Performa ah! Pals. Performa Pal, really? Yeah, I, if I remember mean? correctly, this is the main archetype of the main character from Arc Five. Oh my God. Yeah. Th- that's the main character's deck type. Oof. I believe so. Yeah. That'll be an interesting so, watch. In order, these monsters are Skullcrabat Joker, Laugh Maker, Smile Sorcerer, and Sky Pupil. The final question. Question number 10, submitted by For Science Only J. All right, Bio, for this last question, I will reveal the card's art, and you will have 10 seconds to fill in the blank and tell me its name. Okay. Just say something. <laughs> Magical blank. You have 10 seconds. Magical guardian? I don't know. <laughs> Five seconds. Magical sorcerer. Okay. That's all I got. <laughs> Guardian or sorcerer? Pick one right now. Come here. Uh, sorcerer. Okay. Bio, just say something. The card's name is Magical Something. <laughs> this is not a joke. That's this is a real so... card. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> it's so stupid. I, I looked at this and I went, why would you be such a cool card? Such a dumb name. But unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Its name is Magical Something. Oh my god. <laughs> Magic. Oh my god. This one's probably the most evil one on this list, which is why I reserved it for last. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <sighs> let me let me tally up the points. I mean, five points ain't bad. Five? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> At least I think it's five. Hold on. I'll, uh... No, six. Oh. Passing. Passing grade. The grade keeper one. That's my bad. Let's go. So, six on this one. Not bad at all. Oof. Yeah. Oof. 
Uh, <laughs> if you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and type, man, that sure was something in the comments, because, man, that answer sure was something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now, Bio, I have an important question for you, because mm -hmm. considering mm -hmm. how this episode went, are there any, like, other archetypes or, like, monster types that you'd want to see as a prompt? You know, actually, uh, I'm in Master Duo, I've been playing a lot of the, like, Link card uh, archetypes, or, like, that, that, like, special type of dual card. Okay. Um, I can't remember exactly the name of it, but there's, like, so many of those. I think it'd be really cool to, like, do uh, do one of those. Link monsters could be a fun prompt, because there are, mm. like, Trigate Wizard's ton. one of those. It could be mm. very interesting to sort of dive into Link monster archetypes and stuff. Well, you heard it here. Uh... Get your Link Monsters and Link Monster Trivia prepped and ready, because that's going to be our next prompt. Keep an eye out on Twitter.com slash Millennium Mike, because I'll be putting that tweet out within the next couple weeks for you guys to start submitting. And, uh, yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the people before we head out, Bio? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> really no promo, no nothing. I figured you'd No, because they beat me, probably. I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't be mean to Bio. I'm begging you. We need this is good side content. We need this to continue. Please don't be mean to him. I'm begging you. Please. <sighs> All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>